Hey guys, Justin from Summer Outdoors. Today I am going to go on a special fishing trip. Today I'm going to go with a good old partner of mine, one that can't give away the secrets, Arctic. Yeah. Anyhow, sometimes you just need to get away and take a trip with you and your good old friend and just uh, relax. And that's what today's video is going to be about. Hey guys, so we're out on an undisclosed location on Hall Lake here. Uh, it's just Arctic and I. Uh, as you can see, Arctic, you're in the way. All I'm doing is slowly just working up above them. See if I can get them to chase. Oh, Arctic. Oh, there's a fish up higher. Oh. Here we go. There we go. Now we got one on the board. Arctic stay. Alrighty. That is our average crappie. Arctic, go on, give it a kiss. Alright, so back down the hole. I very rarely keep fish, um, twice a year basically. When I know I'm going to eat them fresh, I don't stock my freezer. Drop it back down there, see if we can get another one. As you can tell, all I'm doing is I'm just working the whole column, bottom four feet. Crappie's been coming anywhere from on the bottom, up, suspended. And the visibility must not be too bad because I've been getting fish that are coming up two foot right off the bottom. There we go. There's another fish. Oh, not a bad crappie. So, this is a good old sized crappie. Kind of put it in reference of a Vexlar. A lot bigger than the Vexlar, so I'm guessing that this is about a, oh, probably a 10 and a half, 11 inch crappie. Uh, we'll send him back home. This is what I'm using today. It's going to be kind of hard to see, but I'm using a little tiny tungsten jig. Oh, there we go. Let's zoom in a little bit. What I'm using is just a little tiny tungsten jig with a wax waxy tail made by Trigger X and that's all it is essentially you're just jigging it up and down and that's kind of what it's looking like in the hole and the fish are pretty finicky today that's why we had to go with some small micro baits but it seems to be working to some extent for electronics I'm running a FL28. I've been running them for a couple years. Um, it's my personal preference. I sell pretty much everything, but everybody has their own preference, and this is mine. I'm using zoom mode. The left hand side of the screen over here is the bottom six feet of the lake. This will be the full 14 foot of the lake. I'm working a brake system. Um, about 10 feet away from me is 20 foot. I'm up on the side. All right, so guys, it wasn't working in nice house. Had to come out, get some fresh air here. Let's see if this works a little bit better. There's fish down there right now. Not all of them are good size, but at least we're catching. Nice little crappie. Send him back down there. See if we can sort through a couple of these real quick. There 
again, I'm not keeping fish. I keep fish once in a while, but I only keep what I need. So I enjoy just catching fish in general. I'm just gonna bring them up as quick as I can. There we go. As you can see on the end of my rod tip, I have a spring bobber. Feel a little bit better with the spring bobber. You, know, you got it wrapped around the transducer. Okay. There's another one. Uh, these are about nine inches, maybe a little bit smaller. Back down there quick while they're here. Great for kids. That's a huge thing. As you guys can see, I'm not using a float on my Vexlar. I feel it just gets in the way normally. Oh, I whiffed on that one. See if he comes back. Yeah, he'll go back. There we go. This one might be a little bit better. Not bad. Still, what I wouldn't consider a keeper. But, some guys will keep them. That's fine. That's your choice. Seems to be a lot of them, as long as they're keeping within their limits. Uh, one thing I should say, a lot of guys don't realize it, but your possession limit, if you have 10 at home, you don't get to keep any more fish. No, oh, I missed that one. He was on there. This one's not being too aggressive. Oh, here he comes. Apparently he must have had a friend come join him. because there's some wind I'm trying to get my line tip of my pole down so I can see the spring bobber instead of the wind here we go there we go I don't know what the air bubbles are from Another decent little crappie. Got a little crowded around there, so I find if uh, I get crowded, I get less fish. So that's why I'm out away from my house. All of a sudden, there's no fish in it. I'm guessing that's because of being crowded. So I go to a different location. Wow. So basically we had the ice house here and we had enough room, figure the door is right here, vehicle parked here. It is against the law to be fishing within a certain distance of a permanent shack if you erect a portable uh, ice house or any type of shelter. Um, let's take a step here, one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just past ten feet. We had guys fishing right here, right next to the vehicle, and right there. And if that wasn't enough, they came back. All right. And I understand out here on the lake, nobody owns this. This is all public. Just talk to each other. We wouldn't have half the issues that we had. work it a little bit longer here.
All right, we'll have to probably go after one more fish. The battery's getting pretty low. And I got a lot of stuff to do today. But, got out. Got a couple lemon soup trophies if I decided to keep them, but had some fun. Come on, one more. One more, you can go back after I catch you. You gotta talk to the fish. Fish don't want to cooperate. Well, guys, I'm gonna start packing up the house, get it off. The landing's getting a little mushy right now, so we'll talk at you guys later. Have a great day. One of my biggest pet peeves is this stuff coming out here, picking up after other people. Um, I mean, it's, how hard is it to just carry it up to the landing? We have garbages and just throw it in there. I mean, come on, people. So, if I drive by it and I have time, I'm always picking it up, throw it in the back side by side, and take it to the landing for somebody that was too lazy to do it. Now, this is a new one that I don't see that often, but uh, somebody cleaned their fish and we're finding them laying all over the ice here. There again, there's some garbages, just throw it in the garbage. So here we are up at the landing of Hall. And the city of Fairmont goes way out of their way to put these trash bins right at the accesses. So make sure you guys use them. Well guys, for me and the white dog, take my house off of Hall. Uh, again, be careful, it's a little slushy at the landing. And probably the next video you guys will see from me is gonna be our ice fishing tournament uh, from this weekend. If you guys haven't uh, signed up for that, make sure to get in, or it's not this weekend, it's the following weekend. Uh, if you guys haven't entered for that, uh, make sure to get in right away. Limited 150 anglers that are paid. Uh, I know U.S. Bank is coming through with some breakfast for you guys when you sign up between that 8 and 10. And uh, I'm sure the Marina Lodge has some kind of special for lunch uh, at Way in And of course, I'm sure they'll have all the beverages that you guys probably will need. Uh, I want to thank all the sponsors. Um, you'll see that on the next video. There's a, this is the most sponsors we've ever had for the fishing tournament. So it's definitely growing and I appreciate all their uh, backing. Until next time, you guys take care.